Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and I'm here with a Leo to share with you. And this one, oh man, I did this one a while ago. Um, so this is using the hip kit uh, for March and I have this um, kind of already half done because I totally forgot I was recording. So I just took a piece of that Webster's, not Webster's pages, uh, We Are Memory Keepers paper and I have it on the white cardstock as well as I put um, a watercolor uh, around the border of that paper and then I doodled some uh, a border in there so I did like some lines around and then uh, uh, like a little scallop border and then I already did some layers with my photo with some pieces from the kit and then I am just going through some of the embellishments and trying to see uh, what I can make work. Um, so my title is going to be I Love My Geeks. And this picture just cracks me up. It's um, from Natasha's graduation last year. And um, totally unprompted uh, photo shoot here with the kids. They were just being crazy. So I snapped a picture. And I so love this picture. It just kills me. Um, there's a whole bunch of labels that came on uh this oh my goodness I don't remember whose sticker sheet this is I think it's like um the echo park echo park or I can't remember um anyway it came in the kit and it had a whole bunch of these labels on the sticker sheet and then there was these little speech bubbles as well and I'm going to use those um kind of just to kind of make a little I don't know like word sentiment cluster on the side of the photo and it just really draws your eye in towards the the picture and I just love it so I'm going to take these core carts that came in the kit as well and I'm going to just use three of them and I'm going to um uh glue those down underneath my title and my title is I love my geeks I can't remember if I said that or not so um just glued that down and then here is where I was like, you know what, I want to try something different. And so I'm going to, sorry, my dog's barking. Um, I wanted to take my ruler and see if I could make watercolor lines to do my journaling on. And it totally works, you guys. So all I did is I took my ruler, got my, um, I got a really thin uh, liner brush. And all I did is just put my ruler down. And I had to go like the opposite way, if that makes sense. And I just did some little lines. And as the lines got fainter, I would just go in, get my um, brush and get it a little wetter and get more color on there and then just do the lines. And then after I dried it, I used, I think, a Sharpie, like a really thin Sharpie marker pen. And it's awesome for... Um, writing on um yeah this is a uh sharpie pen that you can just get anywhere you can get them at staples or whatever and it's it writes so nice so actually i'm using a food ball pen i lie <laughs> but a sharpie pen works really good as well uh so i'm just doing some journaling about how my kids just crack me up all the time and then that's pretty much gonna finish off this layout i think i go back in and sprinkle with some watercolor, some pink watercolor, just to kind of tie everything back in. Uh, but that is pretty much it for the most part. Oh, black in the ink. I'm totally wrong. <laughs> I've made this layout so long ago, I can't even remember what I did. Oh, and I add some puffy um, stars from the crepe paper. I think this is the craft market, or it's from the confetti line. I can't remember. And so I'm just sprinkling stuff around the page. And then that's pretty much going to be the layout. So um, stay tuned for the close-ups at the end. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.